What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to Clockwork Empires. My name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and continue to develop our little colony, which I am inevitably, I have to apologize so much, on behalf of, I am your colonial cousin. British viewers, I am your colonial cousin and I'm sorry that I'm killing your countrymen. You should never have given me control of them in the first place. I'm just saying, whichever lord or whichever general or whoever was in charge of this expedition, he really messed up when he put me in charge. Like, beyond all repair, he messed up. This was not a good call. It was a really, really bad call, as far as that's concerned. But welcome on back. Uh, we're just working on making sure we have a lot of housing and stuff around here. Hopefully, we're going to try and make kind of a buffer in between our town and the rest of nature. Because nature seems to be a little bit unfavorable to us. It kind of wants to hurt us, I think. Oh, they're talking about purple swirlies. That's not good. I have no idea what I'm doing in this game, by the way. Like, I know how to play the game, but ultimately it's changed so much since the last time that I played it that virtually anything could happen at this point. And I would just be lost. Just completely and totally lost. Uh, did I unassign somebody who was making bricks? I think I did. How many bricks did we end up with in the long term? We ended up with nine bricks. That should be enough to build another middle class house, I, th house, I think. I don't know why I said houses with like a Z at the end of it, but I did. Let's go ahead and build another middle class house. Why not? We'll go middle class housing. Or overseer house. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that they changed the terminology. It used to be low class, middle class, and aristocracy, as I recall. So that's going to be... Yeah, that's fine. That'll look good right there. And then we'll give it a door right there. Perfect. And so we've got two of our little overseer houses ready to go. I should probably stop using that terminology. Just so I don't make people sad and upset. It's okay. I'm lower class. I'm working class. My family is hardcore. My family is a family of roofers. All right, you don't get more working class than roofers. Like, that is, like, the heart of working class. That's like being a landscaper or a plumber. It is, like, the definition. Although plumbers making money nowadays. Plumbers, y'all out there are balling right now. I got a family member. My brother-in-law is a plumber. And that dude is turning over cash money because he's union. And so he works his union job. And then he's allowed to moonlight on his union contract. And so he runs his own, like, part-time plumbing business on the side. And it's just like, holy shit. You go to his house and you're like... So are you like a doctor or like a lawyer or like what's going on? He's like, no, I'm a plumber. It just, it shows it's true though. My dad always said, if you always want to have a job, you got to find the shittiest job you can think of and do that. He said, be a plumber, be a barber, be a roofer, be a landscaper, be a concrete pourer. He said, nobody wants to do those jobs, but they pay a fortune. They pay a goddamn fortune and you'll always have job security. Why is nothing getting done over here in my ovens? What's what's up with this over here? What are you guys doing right now? What's happening, Captain? Let me go ahead and I'm going to reset these real quick. Just to make sure that nothing weird has happened. We'll have that on maize chowder. We'll have them maintain 30 maize chowders at all time. Sure. On this side, we'll have them maintain... How much meat do I have? Sausages sound good. Let's do it. Although we don't have enough employees, but we'll keep that on sausages for right now. Just to make sure... Yeah, maintain sausages, why not? And when we run out of sausage supply, we'll start doing something else. One of these is not getting utilized. What? Why are you shooting my oven, madam? I'm like, well, it was looking at me funny. That oven's been talking shit since we got to this island. Sometimes you gotta blap a fool. Sometimes that's just the way that it goes down. It's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh. Apparently somebody's fighting a giant death beetle over here. Oh, little beetles came out of him after you killed him. Let's go ahead and butcher. Go ahead and butcher the beetle. And once the butcher has been beetled and the beetle has been butchered. Alright. Why are my cooks not doing anything? I'm a little bit worried about this right now. Like, I'm a little bit terrified for what's happening at the moment. I don't feel like they're actively actually cooking anything. Like, it's just like sitting in there. Okay, so those two actually look like they got something done. What did she create? Why is there a pot right there? Family research. Jeremiah Twist has taken up the study of genealogy and has been poring over documents related to his family tree. After some studying, he declares his tree is extremely boring and he must clearly make a name for himself and fix this. Well, hey, everybody's got to set out. That's what life is all about. Making a name for yourself and making sure you earn that Wikipedia page, I guess. How many bushels of maize do we have? Someday I'm actually going to make a corn maze and I'm just going to call it Maze Squared. Except it's going to be spelled like that right there. It's going to be dope. 
It's gonna be hella sick. People will be like, oh, I see what he did right there. It's bad wordplay, but it still counts. Oh shit, son. He must be so unique and creative and artsy. I wanna give him my body. Cause that's how it always goes down. That's how things happen in my world. So what are you guys doing over here? What's happening? You're just producing planks right now. Just plonking up, huh? How many planks do we have? 15. So it's getting there. Assembly bench, you wanna make some stuff? Assembly bench, I could make some beds, sure. Brewing vats, absolutely. Mineshaft modules, musket lockers, standing desks. I don't know what those are for. Probably for a building like this one. We can do a chalkboard, a spice rack. Yes, make me a spice rack, please. In fact, make me two spice racks. They need them in here. It will help them with their job and it will make everything simpler. Wait, do we have... That's weird that they made planks on both of those, but that's good. I was wondering about that. So it appears as though if I schedule planks on this one, but we have idle workers, they will outsource the work to the second bench to get it done faster. That's pretty good. I like that. A lot of people aren't really liking their, uh, their places where they work right now, so I'm trying to make that better by making the building quality superior. I think the spice racks will bring that up. I think. I don't know. We'll have to find... I think the spice racks make it nicer inside of here, though. Either that or it's the creation of better ovens that will make it better. I would have to check the modules here. So we've got the kitchen. What else do they like? So building quality, that's still minus one, even for the really, really good ovens. The brewing vat, it's minus one. That gives plus one right there with hanging pots. So I assume a spice rack does something similar. Yeah, so we got two spice racks right there. So we'll put in a couple of spice racks. The hanging pots would be cool, except that I don't really have, you know, a lot of the stuff I would need in order to make that work. So unfortunately, we'll have to wait on that little... Oh, there's a fish person down here. No, it's a fishman! Fishman, why? Why do you terrify me so, fishman? Leave me alone, filthy fishman. Let's see here. Crispin Roller has been actively intimidating a wandering fish person in order to drive them away. Allowing this behavior will discourage fish people from hanging around your colony, but it might lead to conflict. How shall you respond? Only give them trouble if they start it. Because they used to be outright super, like, aggressive, and now they're not anymore. Like, now they just want to hang out with you and be friends, as I recall. We should also consider maybe doing a trade office. I, I think a trade office would be smart. I'll probably put the trade office, like, over here somewhere. So we'll take it and put it, like, right on this side. Sounds good to me. Done. Let's put it in. And then we also need a door. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep it centered off. And that'll be fine. And so we got a little road right here. I'm going to go through. I'm going to pave this in a little bit. It's going to look all sexy. This is going to be like our central square. I'm going to pave that and put some trees in the middle and make it look all awesome. Immigrants arrive. So we've got two overseers and two laborers. Oh, my God. We actually, hell yeah. Sounds good to me. So now that we have new overseers that are just like chilling, doing nothing, we got two new people right there too. I'll probably add them to that group and then just give me some general purpose people for right now. Some general purpose people. What stuff can I build next though? Because now that I've done the ceramics workshop, that allows me to produce some other things. I can do a chemical works. A production workshop, the chemical works, enables production of gunpowder, medicinal tonics, and potent concoctions if you have the unusual ingredients to make them. We can also make a blacksmithy, a metal works, which I think is probably a decent plan. So with the smithy, production workshop, metal works facilitates the building of a great many things, including metal modules, weaponry, and more. Frontier exploitation, we can make mines. Mines enable the extraction of valuable and ores and minerals from the Stygian depths. Put it near a product beacon to make it more efficient. A naturalist's office, a base for those who venture. Naturalists can explore, discover resource veins for mines, or hunt animals. That sounds pretty good. Or we can do the noble pursuit of science through a laboratory. A laboratory with my stupid sister, Dee Dee. Okay, so I'll probably go with the naturalist's office first, since we more than likely have a lot of exploration to do. It'll back up to right here, and it'll face this way. I don't have the bricks for it, but I'm assuming they'll make whatever bricks need to get made. Oh, maybe not. Now clear terrain, construct building. Uh, let's put you in there for a second, and then maybe we'll just maintain some bricks for now. And when this gets done, it'll need a door, and the door is going to be faced on that side is great because we're going to put in a new street right here 
forageables are getting moved out of the way. That's fantastic. I don't know if we actually forage these right here when they destroy them, but it might be worth it to forage some things. Like some mushroom stews and whatnot. I don't know. We're running out of assignments anyways, so we might as well get on this. I would say to chop more trees too, just get them out of the way. Like I don't want the forest near us. Like I want to buffer around our town to eliminate natural stuff. And we'll just keep that as a current running order, like so. And that'll supply us with tons and tons of wood too, so it's kind of a nice thing to have going. Especially since we just picked up new people. Our disturbance is down. My suggestion would be now that we've picked up more people, is I'm going to take this and we're going to turn it up to 50 and this up to 50 for now. Because we have more people and I'd like our stockpiles to be a bit more robust, especially since we're getting a trade post. And I'm assuming that means somebody will come by and we can trade with them later on. Whether they're from another kingdom, which you can see right here, we've got faction relations. So the Republic Mechanique does not like us, the Bandits don't like us, the Navoris, Imperia, they're neutral. The Gross Herzogenentum von Stahlmark is neutral with us and the Clockwork Empire is obviously friendly with us. So if you guys got those spice racks ready, can I have those deployed, please? Let's go ahead and we'll put in a spice rack there. And a spice rack... ...over here, maybe? Like one for each work team. I want to make their working areas a little bit more pleasant if I can. And so with that there, an exterior lamp will increase the quality by that much. I could do hanging pots if I had a metal work. Hmm. Okay, things to think about. We could actually put lanterns on the front of stuff too, but we need a metal work for that. In the meantime, I'm assuming we have 20 planks stored up. Yay or nay? Actually, we just built a bunch of buildings. Never mind. We probably don't have 20 planks all saved up. We are going to need more wood though. How many logs are we rocking right now? 95 actually. We're pretty good on logs. Logs are looking fairly solid for us. We may want to add more farming as well. Destroy these fields and put them in like in a more suitable place. Like over here or something where I can see them a little bit better behind the building. Lots and lots of people working on tasks though, and so that's good. Shiloh Uxter and his crew going ahead and grabbing a whole bunch of the mushrooms and things that we're going to be bringing back. We could schedule some mushroom stew in here as well, and if we don't end up using it, we could sell it. I mean, they've got three workers here to begin with, so why not schedule something? Make a fungus stew or a farmer's stew. Let's make some fungus stew. And I'd say just burn through some of our fungus. I mean, we got a bunch of it, and you're not doing anything anyways, so you might as well. I mean, you guys are carrying on heated conversations, I guess. You are doing something, but it's not much. Naturalist office will be up in just a moment. I kind of wanted to wait for my disturbance to fall off a little bit more. Because we do have a lot of structures right now, and that makes me worried. What kind of stuff can I build inside of a barracks? We can build windows, clotheslines. Made in the carpentry workshop with clotheslines. So how do I make a clothesline in here? I don't see anything that looks like a clothesline. Got the spice rack. I would say make some table and chair sets. Some practical chairs would probably be smart too. What can I put inside to make our colonies better? I, want, I don't want their sanity to be bad. So let's have a look at the modules that will go inside of a laborer bunkhouse. We can do clotheslines. We can do shrines. We can do simple cabinets. We can do chairs. Chairs don't appear to do anything. Rare paintings will do something nice, though. A lower class rug. These are made in carpentry workshops. I'm assuming we can make some kind of loom or something elsewhere. Possibly. Assembly workbench, paper stacks. What else can you produce in here? Ceramics, decor workbench. Ah, that's the one. So my suggestion would be maybe box this up. It appears as though I should dismantle it after the fact. What I'm thinking about doing also is if I can get rid of like this module right here, 
that would be fantastic because that'll clear up a little bit of space. And frankly, like anything that I'm not really using right now can go. Like I would kill off anything that's not actively unnatural sounds from the night as the sunset strange howls begin beyond the outskirts of town invoking imagined figures of unnatural animals being held at bay by the glimmer of settlement lights. Okay, airship mast will be done up here. And so they'll hopefully drop supplies on that side when the time comes so that we don't end up getting hosed. That's been deconstructed. We're making fungus stew over here. Looks good to me. Everything's looking solid on that side. We're constructing bricks. So that'll be nice for middle class housing. They're going to be chopping trees for a big majority of... Oops, I, accident, I accidentally canceled my building. Canceled my naturalist's office, actually. So what I would like is for my naturalist's office to be back. If we could, please. There we go. That's better. Bring that one back. We'll drop a door on in, like on that side. That looks good to me. The cots, unfortunately, make this place kind of miserable, but we'll try to figure out something to make it nicer. I think I need rugs and some other stuff. And I'm going to make one of the uh, new assembly benches. There's a new thing you can make. You can make a decoration bench on this guy right here, a decor workbench. So I'm going to get one of those all nice and crafted. Now that we have space, we'll put it on this side, and we'll start crafting some decor to make people happier. Because as time goes along, their little meters are definitely going to fill up. Uh, the howling in the night is not so bad. They all look like they're doing reasonably well. She's a little bit afraid, and that's going to be mostly due to the howling in the night, it looks like. Whereas the good things... I'm not really sure how the addition works right there, but I'm sure we can sort it out later. Like I said, I'm not a master of this game. I'm still, like, fiddling around with stuff. The system has changed a lot since the last time I've played. So, there will be little mysteries here. You can see a rough readout of, like, what's going wrong with the character underneath here, but I'm not sure why they're getting a minus for getting well-fed. Like, slept lavishly, was well-fed... A lot of people are angry because they feel like their safety is ignored. That might denote that maybe it'd be a wise idea to go to my overseers and assign more people to the militia. Like make this poor bastard lose somebody over here and then we'll add somebody to the militia. And then maybe... I mean our work crew over there is doing pretty fine. Disturbance is officially up to 30. I really have no reference for that number right there. I don't know, like, what's good and what's bad. We've absolutely put in quite a few buildings, though, so... Little things to think about, I guess. So with these over here... Looks like we are capped out on overseers and on total population. I may try to make a few more workers' houses that go out this way just to keep things moving along because we could always use more workers like it never hurts to have further workers so since this is supposed to be like a road we'll go like oh I don't know a six by seven looks good I wonder if it's better to do like one big building or a bunch of little buildings that's what I'm curious about it seems as though disturbance goes up every single time you build something but I don't know if it's based on like space occupied or if it's based on other factors. We'll put them in right there. Oh, shit. Put that in right there, though. Looks good to me. Drop a door in, like on that side. We'll drop a door in, like there. That looks okay to me. Doesn't always have to be symmetrical. I don't know how many cots we're sitting on right now. I should have a decor workbench around here somewhere. And so if I can take the module for the decor bench... I find this game to be fascinating, even though I'm not very good at it. Like, I do find it to be a lot of fun. Let's say that I lower my work quality over here by dropping that to that side. And then what can I hang on the walls in here? We got power saws. Those don't do anything. We can do a simple cabinet. Lower class rug does it too. Or we can do a wood plinth. Okay, so there are, like, little things I can do here. I may open up the floor plan and scoot this to the side. So, like, if I dismantle you... 
and then I scoot it over by one. That'll give us more room to play around with so that I can put a cabinet on each side in between. That'll offset some of the misery of the place. Because a lot of our workplaces right now aren't looking super nice. So he's out of sausage materials. That means we want to swap him over to farmer's stew just so nobody starves. We'll keep that at 31 farmer's stew. Just for the future. That's a stack of fungus stew right there. Our provisions are looking absolutely magnificently well taken care of. Naturalist's office is sitting at plus one. And so we can actually tell them to scout. We can tell them to look for ore beacons. We can do all kinds of stuff inside of here. It looks like stacks of paper are required to do mineralogical surveying. And hunting requires stone pellet ammunition. But scouting is pretty free. We just don't have access to a lot of work groups right now. Although our population is going up. So that's a good thing. It looks like we've got... A lot of random stuff around here that's getting done. As far as the trees go, those jobs are getting worked on. I would probably say that we want to clear terrain on each side here. Just wipe all that out if we can. We'll probably have to add a bit more stuff for our food and our other provisions and whatnot pretty soon too. But we'll just get rid of some of these little lumps of trees and things around here as well. And so that gives our laborers lots and lots of stuff to work on over the course of the next day or two so that we don't have to worry about them, you know, getting stuck on anything or not working on anything. I would like to have, so with the decor workbench, we can make bric-a-brac. What does bric-a-brac do? Clothesline requires two bric-a-brac. Oh, bric-a-brac is like a general thing. Okay. Gotcha, so they simplified the system. It used to be that you needed all kinds of metals and pipes and random types of wood and stuff to build stuff, and it got confusing. They've now reduced that all to bric-a-brac. I would suggest that we select bric-a-brac, and we try to keep quite a bit of it around. Like, that would help out a lot, actually. And so I'll get people started on bric-a-brac. So if that's sitting around, we can start making decorations for all the houses and offsetting the sadness of living inside of them, at least getting them to even. If we can't make them comfortable, we can at least make them even, because these are at minus two, which means we put in two cabinets and a rug in each of these, and they'll be looking a lot better. We also need more cots, though. There are also still, like, a lot of carpentry things that need to get done, so we'll try to keep that in mind, too, as we go forward. Assembly workbench, you can go right there. Perfect. That gives us the one assembly bench. Everybody's working on what they need to work on. How is people's safety feeling now that I've added another person to... Okay, so yeah, that's the next thing I need to work on is making everybody's workspaces a lot more comfortable. And once that's been banged out, I think we'll be in a really fantastic situation. I think we're almost out of time for the day. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for this sponsored playthrough of Clockwork Empires. If you want to get the game for yourself, absolutely take a look at the description down below. That'll get you that link so that you can get the game for yourself and you start playing it so you can tell me all the things that I'm doing wrong because you guys will have way more time to play it than I will. My name is Splattercat. I will see you all next time. Check out the Patreon if you haven't done it already. It'll give you a pretty good idea of ways you can support the channel and also get some cool stuff for yourself like the ability to talk to me through Discord and like custom videos and things like that that you get a little bit early. I will see you all later. Bye, everybody.